Good morning guys and welcome back to Talk Automotive, the channel from a car lover to car lovers. Today we are working on the R53 eventually. The indoor unit is still not ready yet, that's gutting, but hopefully it'll be transported this week to the indoor unit. So she's sat here, bit of a problem. I want to strip the interior and we've parked it too far back and she's got a dead battery. Um, too far back even to get a jump lead in. So taking the battery out and it's on charge. But let me show you what we're gonna do. So what we need to start doing in here is getting rid of all this interior. Um, we're planning on having this whole car painted, hopefully before Christmas. All this interior trim, seats, carpets, uh, plastics, seat belts, roof lining, everything needs to come out. Um, so let's uh, look how you do that and uh, it's going to be a bit tricky because we're going to be working this way in with uh, no ability to open the boot because of a dead battery. But hopefully the battery will charge soon and then we can get cracking on um, and moving a lot of this stuff out of the car as well as talking about what we've bought and what's coming for the R53. So without further ado, let's get to it. these in the wrong order, that doesn't matter. Um, when you get to this bit, I don't know how well you can see this, but in there there are two, um, there's like a metal ridge, and you can see that there, uh, that this couple in it, you have to push this top bit back, uh, you need something pretty hard, so I'm just using like an extension, and you push that back like that, and that exposes, as you can see, hopefully, the two pins. Then, the seat just pops out. Um, I'll show you that now. That pops out. skip that at the start of the video but obviously one inch come out anyway and then that now just pops off because all the bolts are done um, so now I'm gonna get removing all like the seat belts a little bits of trim um, around the sides these are just little Phillips screwdrivers um, that's all they are little Phillips so remove all those and then you've got some of these little pop clip things that need to come out um, so I get all this removed and, uh, and let's start tidying it up. As So the back pretty much stripped, um, 
just roof line to come off but I need to get to the front first and I've still got no battery to open the passenger door so I'm going to take start to take the passenger seat off um, I'm going to probably start at the bottom rails I don't know if that's the right place to start but um, if I just tilt this forward um, yeah, I'm going to start at the bottom rails I'm going to try and get uh, chair out in one let's see if it works but I'm gonna take these two torx bits out um, and then do the same at the front and try and uh, try and get this out but let's see uh, let's see how easy this is That's the seat undone, just those four bolts. Then you've got the two airbag harness clips to take out. Obviously make sure you've got your battery disconnected and it's been disconnected for a good half an hour to make sure that the electricity's dissipated. So I'll just whip these two plugs out now and then try and take the seat through the boot. Definitely, uh, this is definitely an improved leg room space, at least that's for sure. And um, obviously these bits and the belt still in, just waiting on a torx 50 bit, but I'll get that in a bit. So I'm going to start on the centre console because the battery's still not charged. I think the battery's jiggered to be fair. Um, I've left it on charge for 3-4 hours and just no charge in it whatsoever, so I think it's absolutely shot. Um, which is a pain. I'm going to try and undo this inside this door and I've got another battery on charge to open the door um, and I've also ordered a trickle charger for my race battery um, and then we'll be away then. So let's just uh, start taking out the interior pieces. It's continuing so we've got the glove box, parcel shelf, um, the front fascia of the chrono pack off. We've just removed the stereo and I've wrapped up all those wires so that I can chase them back um, and remove them completely because we don't need them. This is the dodgy Bluetooth device, again, need to get rid of that. Um, and now I'm just going to undo this, that's the other, uh, that's the main power cables to the um, stereo. Get them removed, tie all them up together. Um, I'm going to. I'm wanting to keep um, this in. Obviously, allows it to lock. It's got the traction and the windows until we get a, a standalone ECU. Um, but the um, but the fans will be uh, will be coming out. So let's carry on, and I will catch you very soon. The dash. The dash is probably the most difficult bit to get out of the R53. Um, what I've found is on the side here. It's two. Uh, two Torx 20 bits, there's a um, a little plastic cowling that goes on it but that just pops off and you've got four here and you've got two under here and then you've got two behind there um, and that's as far as I'm up to at the moment. All the uh, screws I told you about are now removed um, and then up here there are screws in vent one and vent three Event one and vent three and these little tabs here actually pop off and there are two screws under there um, you then want to undo those two t30 bit uh, t30 torx spots with the ground straps because they're attached to the dash and then you just give it a good yank up and uh, let's get this out well you can tell by the clothes it's a new day and the car is in a different place We've got loads of the interior out, um, started to strip the dashboard and now we're getting on to the wiring loom. Let's clear the car of everything that we've got to have in it and then I'll show you what we finished off with yesterday and then I'll talk you through what we're going to do today. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. So this is where we're up to. Uh, rear quarter panel completely out, seat belts are out. Left uh, the bracket in for now because I don't know if I'm going to be able to use it or not. Uh, but it's probably going to have to come out and then uh, seatbelt out for the front, door card out, uh, carpet needs to come up, 
but um, I'm going to leave that for a little bit, but I might need to do it because of the wiring. Um, dash completely removed, uh, right back down to like this, like, yeah, metal, metal frame, but I think whether that has to come out, I don't know yet. Um, so we'll see. And then all of the centre console removed apart from this part, because uh, I've done something and the alarm goes off every time, so keeping this in so I can flip the car open. Um, gear uh, surround removed, all of the gearbox housing removed, and then we've got the steering wheel airbags removed. I'm going to put that back in uh, because for now, while it's in the winter, I want to do some on road testing um, of everything that we're doing to this car. So I'm going to put the airbag in because then I can get this MOT'd. Um, and even it looks like this. I'll put door cards on because I got some from Lowen. Um, we'll be able to get it passed. So, what we're going to do today is continue to chase this absolute huge pile of wires back. I know even it looks like a mess, I know what's what. I've put blue around the stuff that I want to get rid of. Um, so, yeah, I think the art of it is literally just keep chasing it all the way back um, and, and remove them and unpin them one by one. So that's, sorry about that, I'm next to uh, industrial fridge today. Uh, the car, good news though, the car has got uh, its permanent home and we're moving it this weekend, so that is exciting. Well, what I'll do is I'll start we'll firing these and uh, start rooting these wires back, see if we can get some of them removed, and then I'll talk you through the process of how I've done it, but uh, I think it might be a long process. Okay guys, well, update is a um, bit worried because a lot is coming out and I'm hoping I can remember it all, how it goes back in, but let's have a look. Yeah. So, I had to take this off in order to get to the uh, fan compartment at the back, so I'm going to remove all that and then all that plastic at the back there and then I'm going to put this back on, reattach the steering column reattach the harness because I've now got all the good harness that I want over here and all the harness I don't want over there so that's a good progress um, so yeah it's just removing the fan all the fan block and heater block and all that now get rid of that and then I can start to put everything back together um, and then remove the carpet so we're getting there um, but it's just scary because when you don't know what you're doing it feels like you're making loads of mistakes but has to come out in order to get it all out so uh, we're getting there and we'll uh, we'll just
Boom. So we've removed the heating system. I've left the AC and the heating unit for now because um, obviously you need to delete them properly. Um, so I'm going to do some research on how to do them. But oh, we're there. Um, this is the harness that we need to get rid of. Um, I've got rid of everything else, and then over there is the harness that we're keeping. So. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put everything uh, back in terms of tie, uh, screw the, that fascia back. Um, I hope I'd, I do want to get rid of that in the long run, but the steering column is attached to it, so I need to get a um, uh, structure fabricated that we can maybe bolt in or weld um, that we can use uh, to, to attach the steering rack, so I need to do that. But for now, I'm just going to bolt that back, get it back in uh, place. Um, I'm going to clear out the entire cabin and then I'm going to strip this carpet out. Um, chase this wire back um, because we don't need any of that anymore. Um, chase that back and unpin it, and then we're pretty much there um, for the interior for now. Um, just getting ready towards getting ready for paint. Um, really long process but yeah i think we're not a million miles away in here to be honest which is really really good news that i'm happy with so uh yeah let's just crack on and carry on and uh yeah i'll uh, i'll give you an update when we uh when we... so this is where we're gonna leave it for today um this beam is back on um the steering wheel is on the harness is connected into all the right places um this is the main harness that we need anyway and um, that's connecting to all the right places uh, doesn't lie we've done a lot today but we we most definitely have done a lot so next job is to take the carpet out i just need a few more tools and i need to get a uh, radiator delete for that part there so we can get rid of that which is the heat core for the heating system um but apart from that it is really coming on we are complete, we're nearly completely stripped. Carpet out. Um, to get this out, you'll see underneath there, there's just some polystyrene bits and a um, lot to get out, but I just need to get it out of there and over here under the driver's pedal. I need to just take that bit off there so we can take the uh, carpet out there as well. But I will do that next episode because it is my nephew's fourth birthday, so best go. Um, but yeah, all in all, Sorry, I look like an absolute state and filthy. Uh, all in all, great episode. Um, we've got loads done. We've taken this from what was a fully stock mini now to pretty much a bare interior. Um, in the next episode, we will do the carpet and also we'll get on to taking this wheel off on the uh, near side, uh, sorry, on the passenger side wheel, just to see what's going on with this brake system. Because uh, we need to get that fixed before I drive this over to the new unit and then we'll get this up put in new drive shafts and then we get on to the exciting bit of uh, getting rid of all the rust so we'll get some grinding uh, get to do some grinding on all the, the metal work get rid of all the rust um, and then yeah rust seal it and then get ready for paint um, and then we can start the exciting bit which is uh, rear subframe front subframe drop uh, we're going to obviously recondition the whole subframe we've got some amazing coilovers coming and I'll, uh, you know we've just got an amazing setup coming can't wait to tell you because we're going to keep it supercharged so we're not going to be the most powerful but i thought right let's go all out on the brakes and the suspension to make this thing unbelievable at handling um all this to come so exciting well thanks so much for watching if you have enjoyed please smash the thumbs up it means more than uh, you will ever know uh, subscribe if you want some more mini content and if you want to follow the r53 project and comments are always welcome until next time guys peace